Rory McIlroy had a controversial putt during the opening round of the Valero Texas Open, which divided fans on social media. McIlroy shot three under 69, putting up a clean sheet on Thursday with the help of three birdies. However, one of those birdies came on a par 5, which raised the eyebrows of several critics. After escaping from the bunker, he made a great putt from 13 feet away. However, before going inside the cup, the ball took a little longer than usual, and a couple more seconds could have cost him one stroke. As the Northern Irishman hit the shot, the ball stopped on the edge of the cup. Everyone on the course was looking at the ball anxiously and waiting for its fate as the golfer walked towards the pin. After taking a few seconds, the ball went in within 10 seconds. Although the ball took more than 10 seconds to go in, the clock started when McElroy reached near the pin. As per Rule 13, 3A, the player gets a good amount of time to reach the hole before the countdown starts. Hence, the four-time major champion was not given a penalty by the officials. A similar incident happened a couple of weeks ago during the Players' Championship, when Austin Eckrote was handed a one-stroke penalty after the ball took more than 10 seconds to drop in. Upon being asked about the situation during the post-round interview, McElroy said the ball dropped in due to the win. The 24-time PGA Tour winner is grouped with Ricky Fowler, and Tommy Fleetwood for the second round of the Valero Texas Open. The trio will tee off on Friday, April 5th, at 8.53 a.m. ET. Rory McIlroy is placed at T8, six strokes behind the leader, Akshay Basha. The world no. Two golfer is still looking for his first top 10 finish this season. A good result here will provide him with a much-needed boost ahead of the Masters as he looks to win the green jacket for the first time in his career.